Hello, I'm Judd Shea, um, also known as Run Pud Run, as a lot of people probably know me by on GS Pro. Um, I'm a professional GS Pro course designer. A lot of people know me for my famous courses such as TPC Scottsdale, Payne's Valley, 19th Hole specifically, um, most re recently Top of the Rock, and I'm going to unveil another course that I'm pretty excited about, Mark Bostic Golf Course. Um, let's get started. The first one we're going to start out with today is Mark Bostic Golf Course. Um, home of the Florida Gators. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, this is Mark Bostic Golf Course um, located in Gainesville, Florida. It's actually the home of the Florida Gators Golf Course. Um, they, uh, it's about a mile away from, from the campus. Um, it's newly released, um, so I'm just here to, to showcase some really cool parts of it um, that I'm uh, pretty happy with. So. Uh, as you can see, um, custom tee markers with the, the Florida Gators tee, tee markers right there. Um, we got some golf bags here, customized golf bags. Those were built by R. Dyer as well as the tee markers. Um, some customized colors for the, the carts and the ball washers. And uh, another cool feature over here is actually the, their, their specific practice facility is right here. Um, and the public's practice facility is on the other side over there. So. Only the, the University of Florida has access to this part of the, the practice facility. Um, there are some other custom buildings scattered about, um, which uh, were built by Jay Jexrod as well, so I appreciate his help as always. Um, just wanna take you through uh, what one of the cooler holes here, I think, is um, right here. And uh, just over this over the water with the, the green over there, right, right over the pond. Um, as you can see in the distance, there's a uh, there's a, some palm trees and some oaks, which are, are sort of unique to, to Florida golf courses. Not entirely unique, but um, you don't often see palm, or palms and oaks on, on the same course, which is pretty cool here. Um, you can also see the reflection in the water, um, which I think looks absolutely spectacular on, on this projector and on my screen. The resolution is just uh, is really great. Um, I play in the light, so I, I need all the lumens that I can get down here. Um, I'm not one of those guys that plays in the dark, so I appreciate the 5,000 lumens that the 936 provides. Um, scroll down here a little bit, you can just see uh, some of the, the details of the grass. This is a V4 course, so it does have some of the upgraded textures, and uh, um, it just makes it makes all the colors pop, and uh, I, just, I just love the, the V4 tools that, that are provided to us. Um, but you can see here, um, just the level of detail on this on these palm trees. Um, those are a new tree for me, so I was excited to use them. Um, some pines there. Um, yeah, but this is a uh, Mark Bostic golf course. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. This is a uh, Top of the Rock, a course that I just recently completed. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with Payne's Valley. This is actually located right next to Payne's Valley. Um, and uh, I just thought it was a very interesting course and I was really excited to build it. I was waiting for the V four tools to create this course. And uh, I just got it done a couple weeks ago. Um, it's just a, a really spectacular par three created by Arnold Palmer. And he also created the range right next to this, which is actually no longer there. But I'll go into detail of that, about that in a few minutes here. Um, here's just a flyover of the course and you can see just the, the beauty of the, the natural terrain, the, the backdrop of the, the rolling hills and the natural limestone formations. Um, there also is just a, a, a ton of rocks that were actually brought in from a uh, small farm in, in Arkansas. There was a, a guy on, on Facebook that said his family owned the farm and I thought, I thought that was pretty interesting. So um, I'm gonna go into detail um, about some of the parts of the course and kind of why I did some of the things I did in terms of, of design and uh, give you guys a little bit more detail. So here we go. So you can see here, um, Looking over here on the range, you can see just just the, the natural rock formations and uh, the contrast to, to the to the grass. And I just think this uh, I, I love doing rock work. It's it's a lot of work, but uh, I think the end results just speak for themselves. They're just they're just really cool. So you can see here just some of the rock layering that I did. Um, each rock was hand placed, and you can look just on the detail of some of these rocks and just how how unique it is. Um, We'll look back here at the range and, and some of the things I did there. So I built some rock steps and uh, this, uh, as I mentioned before, the, the range is actually no longer here. It fell into a sinkhole. So as far as I'm aware, um, this is the only place on GS Pro where you can actually play this range. Um, and I did make it fully playable. So 
Um, I think that's pretty cool. Um, here is a whole one. You can see uh, this chapel here is actually a chapel where people can uh, go and get married. Um, and some of the things that I thought were really cool, especially with the V4 tools, is is uh, the ability to what we call vertex paint. You can see here um, the three D grass goes away, and you can see just the the dirt path come here and uh, fade in and out. It's uh, pretty cool the ability that we have now, and. Uh, just the, the look of the grasses, you can see the different layering of the grass, the 3D grass, it's just, it looks spectacular. And the, just, the way that it pops against this uh, fairway and the rocks, um, I just think uh, this course turned out really well and I'm just very happy with it. Um, a lot of people talk about the bunkers and how they're kind of angled this way, but this course is actually, it's, it's the way this is in real life, it's, it's pretty angular like that. Um, it's a very tough par three course, and uh, um, look back here. Um, they have a lot of rock paths that, that come in and out like this off the off the cart paths, and um, so some of these rocks right here are just some examples of rocks that were brought in from from the farm in, in Arkansas. Um, you can see in the backdrop here, Table Rock Lake back here, um, just the rolling hills of uh, outside Branson. Just really cool. Um, I'm just very happy with how this course turned out. So, uh, yep. Part of the reason I'm kind of doing this is, um, as a designer, color is is very important, and um, it, we put a lot of time and effort into into colors and making sure they're as real as possible. Um, I know not everyone's setup is the same, but as a designer, we need to make sure that the colors are as natural and as real as possible. Um, one of the things that's really cool and, uh, and very unique about the, the 936 ST is the golf mode. And um, for me, I use the golf mode um, when, it's, when I like to play in more darker environments. There's also a presentation environment where, for um, when, it, when I like it a little bit lighter. But for golf mode, it's just um, very natural colors. The, the greens are greener, the blues are bluer. Um, and it's just a, a really just cool mode that I like to use to, to show off some extra clarity and, and details. Everything just, just pops in golf mode. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but as a designer, we need to make sure that, that what we're kind of putting out is as real and as, as realistic as possible. Um, because like I said, not everyone's setup is the same. Um, so some people may have a really bright room with a lot of ambient light. Some people like to play in the dark. Um, so we just need to try to um, mitigate those those differences and, and just make it as, as natural and as real as possible. That's kind of our, our desire to, to, to make everyone have the best the best setup. And, and um, so um, in closing, um, uh, I'm really happy with how these two courses turned out. I'm sure most people have played TPC Scottsdale by now, but not everyone has played the top of the rock. So uh, if you uh, have the time or, or want to uh, give Top of the Rock a, a shot, let me know how you like it. And uh, let me know in the comments what you guys are looking forward to. Um, again, uh, a, lo a lot of this was because of the, the BenQ 936 um, ST. And uh, it's, it's an excellent projector. So if you guys have any questions, just um, ask me in the comments. Appreciate it. Okay, here's my man cave, uh, my golf man cave, as it were. Um, Going into a little bit more detail around it, but I'll pan around here, give you guys a quick look first. Uh, pretty awesome, I, I love it down here. But uh, screen size is uh, 15 feet by a little under eight feet, nine inches, about eight feet, eight inches to the ceiling. Um, I can still hit driver, um, unlike my brother, as you can see there. <laughs> uh, I have an IXL launch monitor and I'm seven feet exactly to the screen. Um, I don't have any issues. Uh, I like it being that close. It's uh, Feels like I'm fully immersed, um, so I enjoy that. Um, paint around here, give you guys a little bit more detail about the room, but I got a swing cam there. Got another swing cam there. And I got my computers, got a couple monitors for uh, the IXO view so I can watch myself uh, swing terribly. Got my clubs there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, this is the room. And uh, last but not least, this beast up here, the BenQ. LK 936 ST. Um, I love it because uh, I have a lot of ambient light in this room, especially during the daytime. As you can see, a couple windows right there, and I got a door over there. Um, so a lot of ambient light. The 5,000 lumens definitely help. 
Um, yeah, so that's my uh, golf sim room. Um, thanks for taking a look, guys.